So in the last video I showed you two actionable steps that you can take to increase your skill level today. Number one, start building service that you find online. Number two, commit to a specific project with a deadline that pushes your skill limits further. Today I'm going to talk about what types of circuits you can build to increase your skill level. Because just building the same blinking light circuits over and over and over again won't really get you far. Circuit number one. Start with simple circuits with just a few components like a battery and a resistor and an LED. Just make the light on the LED turn on. Number two. Create circuits with basic components but that adds more connections than, than you're used to. For example, the A-stable multivibrator is a blinking light circuit, two LEDs turning on and off. This circuit has uh, like a few resistors, some capacitors, some transistors and LEDs and it starts, you start to get a lot of connections here and there and it will train you to to see all these connections and start to get control of all the connections. Number three, circuits that use integrated circuits. There are so many cool integrated circuits that you can find out there and you can find MP3 players, you can find memory, you can find amplifiers, you can find all sorts of things packed inside an integrated circuit. So learn to use integrated circuits by building circuits using integrated circuits. Number four, microcontroller circuits. Microcontroller circuits can seem a bit difficult in the beginning, but once you get over that initial stage, it opens up a whole new world for you. And I really, really advise you to get over that initial stage and start using microcontrollers. Circuit number five, a circuit that connects to the internet. When you start connecting your electronics to the internet, then you're playing the game at a whole new level. You can start to connect things and find info in the internet, make things happen in the real world based on what happens on the internet, and it's really cool. It starts to get a little bit advanced at this level, but don't worry, it's not too hard. A few weeks ago, I took a group of complete beginners through all of these types of circuits, here in Berlin. And in the beginning, many of them struggled even with the simplest battery circuit. But at the end, they were able to build a light that connected to the internet and change its color based on the weather forecast. So if it, if it was going to be uh, cold that day, the light would be blue. Or if it was going to be warm, the light would be red. They also built a synthesizer and a melody maker. And it was just so amazing to see their faces when they made their circuits work. So that's all for today's video. Let me know your comments and questions in the question field below. Thanks for watching.